Similar to the way we syringed out solvent, another way to move solvent or to transfer solutions from one flask to another is with the cannula. So it's just a double-ended needle. But there's kind of a specific way to do this that makes it work the best and maintains your inert atmosphere. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my bubbler and put it into the flask that's going to receive my um, solution in a cannula. So that will then relieve some of the pressure and this will cause kind of a partial vacuum here. So I'll actually just turn that off. Next thing we'll do is make sure that our, um, the flask where things are coming out of has nitrogen flow to it. So we'll turn on the nitrogen for that. Place that a little bit. Right, so I've got a flow about like that. And we'll take our cannula and insert it into this through the septum but not into the solution. And now we'll insert this over here into our flask here. The foil is just to go with the foil. See, we we're pushing nitrogen through because we're getting bubbles on our bubbler here. This is kind of dark oil, it might be hard to tell. We are getting nitrogen through our flask, through the set, through the cannula, and into here and then out of our bubbler. So the next step will be to push our needle into our into our solution. Where it's working. Sometimes you have to fiddle with your flow of nitrogen to get the nitrogen to push the solution through your cannula. So depending on the type of bubbler you have, if you're not getting the desired flow out that you want for um, doing some sort of manipulation with your slink, if you have one of these screw kind, you can just tighten this valve and not prevent some of the nitrogen and allow you to build pressure in your system. If you don't have that ability, putting your finger on the end or something to block that. Your finger is probably going to be the best that gives you the most control. But if you hold your finger on the end there for a moment, you can get pressure to build in your system and get your nitrogen to come out somewhere else. So you can see now we're getting a solution into that phosphor. So then we just this here and usually it has to be what your cannula tra what you're transferring from has to be higher than what you're transferring to Once all of our solution is transferred over, we just reverse the steps. So this from here, and this from there, turn off the nitrogen. So this now empty flask. And then with this one, turn on the nitrogen flow here. Just to give it a little bit and then remove the bubbler. So now this flask can do its reaction under inner atmosphere and we're done with this flask.